So, uh, historically, the Indian subcontinent has come into contact with peoples of many races. How has race been regarded historically and uh, what role does race play in the present? Well, race, race is, uh, is an interesting concept because of the way in which it has affected people's thinking about us and them in every society. But basically, let's remember that race was not a very central concept in the ancient world. Uh, it, it's kind of referred to in the Greco-Roman world, and we're really not sure whether it had any role in early India. Um, for one thing, there is no distinctive word for race even when it becomes uh, commonly used because of colonial writing in India in the 19th century, the word that is generally used for race is jati. And jati isn't primarily race. Jati is primarily a uh, reference to a certain aspect of caste. Uh, it's identity by birth. And to that extent, yes, you're born into a race. And so you can use the word. But it's not as if it is a, wo a word. There is no word with a specific meaning of race uh, that, that comes into to early texts. Um, it is essentially something that became very um, prominent in the 19th century, uh, particularly with colonialism. Um, first of all, of course, you had Darwin and you had the whole uh, discussion on the survival of the fittest and the evolution of the species and so on and so forth, the evolution of races. And so primitive people had an inferior position as compared to uh, Europeans who were regarded as being an, in the advanced guard of evolution. And that is when uh, you had very detailed studies of what constitutes the primitive and what constitutes advanced people and the difference, the racial difference. There was even something called race science at the end of, of the 19th century. Um, this, of course, now has been more or less negated. Uh, people no longer talk about race because it really isn't a viable distinction amongst uh, groups of people. And therefore, um, the misuse of the word is something that irritates many of us who know the history of the word. I mean, when people talk about the Hindu race or the Muslim race, and they talk about you know uh, Indians as a race, uh, you say, oh, for God's sake, I mean, you know, why don't you just catch up and understand what the word means and so stop misusing it in this fashion. But in serious studies of populations and people and cultures, race very seldom has any place. It's now taken over, I mean, as I said earlier, it's, uh, uh, genetics has become a very important factor, and it's now taken over much more by... Uh, which particular DNA pattern do you belong to, which may end up the same way. I don't know. It depends on how it's used. I mean, remember, of course, that all knowledge can be used and misused and abused, and therefore one doesn't know which way DNA is going to end up. Uh, but certainly, as far as race is concerned, serious scholarship doesn't talk about races anymore.